I've talked about databases a lot in this class, and now it's time for us to really get into them. Um, I'm hoping that the information that I give you in this lecture at least makes you a good user of databases because you're going to need to be a user of databases throughout the whole rest of your life. I'm hoping in addition, however, that it entices you to maybe get a little bit deeper into databases, maybe even try your hand at creating some of your own. The concepts that I give you will be a, a, enough of a starting point that you could actually move into that if you wanted to. All right, there's many kinds of databases out there, and we're really not going to focus on on any but one specific kind, and that's the relational database. Now, it's, it's worth it to say that um, services like Google and Facebook long since realized that relational databases, the way that we're going to talk about them, are just too slow. And they can't do, you know, rela relational databases in the first place were invented to hold a lot of information and give us access to a lot of information. Well, <laughs> Google and Facebook have found that they're not good enough for that and they have to move to things that are much more scaled down, much more stripped down than the databases that we're going to talk about in order to deal with the huge volume of uh, transactions that they have to deal with. But it is the case that databases were invented to deal with huge volumes of transactions, just not as huge as those guys have come across. So in the years that they've been further and further optimizing to get their, their, their um, their systems further and further able to deal with huger and huger volumes of information. Really, Google and Facebook have had to transcend most of the most of the common principles of, of regular old relational databases. But we're not going to transcend them. And in fact, we'll talk about the relational databases that are behind gaming applications um, in the next module. And this will this will be a pretty good inter introduction to that as well. So databases are used everywhere. They're just not used in the very, very high-end, huge, huge, huge transaction volumes. But everywhere else they're used, you'll be interacting with them for the rest of your life. And the kind of database that you'll interact with the most is called the relational database. And we'll talk about why it's called that in just a moment.